a lot of the world is tied up into very, very small amounts of groups. Like I think like a good extreme example of this is some <laughs> astronomical amount of our world's, you know, our individual movements and our maps and all this stuff is just tied into Google, Google and Waze, you know, you know, Alphabet owns both. So there's what, 50 to 100 product managers there that basically define how all of our world's movements are defined. And I think that's like a, even even without just like some self sovereignty, all the like euphoria around um, um, that some of the acute blockchain people have, just that problem where if it was more open, where people had more uh, ability to share their movements and understand, you would you'd get more maps, you'd get more features, you'd get more other things on top if people could permissionlessly build on top of that data. And so blockchain may not necessarily solve that specific map problem, but I, I think there's tons of different parts of uh, you know, various industries that if you open it up and you create an ecosystem around it where any entrepreneur can come in and add value to that, then uh, exciting things can happen. Today, you have maybe some non-aspirational versions of that, like meme coins is a good example. Uh, it's again, it may not be necessarily the aspirational thing. It's a casino. It's a zero-sum game, but you get you know, uh, pump that fun launch pad, you get a bunch of uh, DEXs like Jupe, you know, and aggregators and Radium, you know, you get all these different components that none of them have to do business with each other. They're just using the same assets and creating an ecosystem that users seem to really love. Um, getting more and more of those in more just non-speculative, just consumption-based industries, and we're starting to see that today with things like Deepin, Helium you can buy your internet off of, and people can build on top of Helium and provide services you know, on top of that mobile data. And so that, that starts to describe what, I, what I'm saying is instead of there being a cell phone carrier that just owns everything, you, have, you start having this network of both individual operators operating the network and then the uh, ecosystem of you know whatever applications on top people are servicing other localized businesses geolocation services you know game game experiences through AR all through this you know very decentralized um, information that that helium is providing and I think just getting that into more and more sectors uh, is something that I think is really exciting and because it just, it just changes kind of the way that the world is going right now right right now the world is you know really consolidating into those big players which even if you're not worried about uh, a big player doing something uh, evil, uh, you, you, just as a consumer and as somebody who I, I want to see the world um, have more interesting things around it, I think having more contri con contributors, more people seeing the path to entrepreneurship, I think it's just good for humanity and good for um, you know the way that we live our lives.